Kutoka angani sehemu nyingi za kaunti ya Baringo taswira ndio hii Rangi ya kijani kibichi imetanda hata hivyo mme ambao umefanya neno hili kuwa taswira hiyo umekuwa kero kwa wenyeji Mmea wa mathenge kwa muda sasa umelumiwa kwa madhara yake hasa kwa mifugo ni mmea ambao unazaga kwa asilimia 15 kila mwaka. Tayari kaunti 22 zinakabiliwa na changamoto ya mmea wa mathenge huku ukiwa umeenea kwenye takribani eka milioni 4.9. Hiyo ni kulingana na takwimu za serikali. Mmea huu ulitokea wapi? This tree is a tree from South America that came to us many years ago. It has been introduced all over the world in the last 200 years. And so the first time it came to Kenya is 1948. It was planted by veterinary officers who worked for the colonial government at that time. And when it was first introduced, the good prosopis was first brought into the country and the species is prosopis pallida. Now prosopis pallida is a good species. It does not spread. It grows uh, very, very fast as well. It has a very good stem form. It uh, produces uh, very good wood that can be used uh, for many products. So that is the first that was brought into the country in 1948. It was not until 1975 that another species very close to the pallida was also introduced. This plant is uh, um, a very hardy plant that can be able to uh, adapt to hardy condition, you know, dry environment. It can grow very, very fast. Uh, it doesn't require uh, very fertile soils. Um, it can also outcompete other uh, native species of, uh, of plants. Adhari za mmea huu kwa mazingira kulingana watafiti ni nyingi. It never had a lot of problem early 70s when it was first introduced until 1997-1998. That's for the first time in Kenya where communities started complaining of uh, prosopis uh, spread in the country. This was because of the bad species of prosopis juliflora. Huku ikizingatiwa kuwa mmea huu unakuwa kwa asilimia 15 kila mwaka iwapo hautadhibitiwa huenda ukaangamiza mimea mingine. This weed I don't understand why it germinates very fast. It has now covered a large area. In fact, three three wards from a small region to three wards. <coughs> Even the flow of water in the rivers is affected by prosopis. So prosopis has become not just a livelihood issue. It has become a threat to national security. When the coats feed on the boards of this plant, it affects their teeth. And that's why over the years you have seen the Aljamus community taking the national government to court. But to date, no answer. It was introduced for purposes of controlling deserts and uh, giving people products in terms of wood. Uh, you know, uh, it also has a very good fodder for animals. The, the fruits are very, very um, um, uh, nutritious and, and very sweet, very palatable for animals. Katika eneo na salabani baringo kusini, Francis Ole Kipirich, Alazimika kunguwa mmea wa mathenge kutoka kwa shamba lake la ekari kuminambili na kupanda nyasi. Mwakulima wengi karike neo hili walazimika kunguwa mmea huo kutoka kwa mashamba yao na kisha kupanda vyakula. I started this project in the year 2009. And actually what made me to, to, to start the project so that uh, I had seen that my, uh, my cows uh, or sheep, particularly cows and sheep, they had no grass uh, to feed on because of the infestation of uh, Prosophis juliflora. In a location like Salaban where we are, over 70% um, of, of the farmers have been able to manage Prosophis within their, their areas where they, uh, their land is, uh, is, is located. And right now it's mostly left now as a hedge, hedge plant or a, a, a life fence. My livestock got uh, pasture to feed on, enough pasture to feed on, but I also got uh, other benefits. One, uh, you know when these uh, grass uh, uh, flowers, 
Then after some time, when it reaches ma the maturity stage, then we can just uh, harvest, then we keep in, in bags. Then of course, the, the NGO, that's Rai, which is actually working with, uh, with, uh, with Salaban community. So it buys. We have also an, an organization here known as Kirifali Development Authority. It also buys but at, at higher price because KVDA uh, buys these seeds at uh, 450 shillings per kilo. Aitha Srikali mepanga mikakati ya kudhibiti mea huo. We're working together with Kefri who are our research um, entity and they are giving us science and data that can inform Kenya Forest Service on its management um, responsibility. Remember we have some certain factories for fodder crop, for fodder, for animals, feeds that are being driven by prosopsis. What we are looking at is uh, to first of all uh, provide the communities in the landscapes where we work with the kilns or equipments where they can be able to then harvest uh, madenge and convert madenge to charcoal which then they can sell uh, domestically but also um, import if um, I mean export if that is production is, is big enough. The same community as committees. They have come up with committees. Courtesy of the discussion between us and the national government. They have a body that deals with prosovis and they map how they are going to harvest prosovis. You would either on a kuzuia mea wa matenge kuendelea kuenea Dan Kaburu K24 makala ya sauti mazingira kutoka county ya Baringo